Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to another in our series of interviews with Amanda Morell, our personal finance editor who's come back from Christchurch, talking about the issues around insurance and the rebuilding of the economy there. Today we're going to talk about liquefaction and the remediation, fixing that land underneath all those houses in Christchurch. Amanda, can you tell us what is the problem with liquefaction? And just to give you an idea what I've got here, Amanda brought back a <laughs> wonderful little bag of sand here, which I'm told is liquefaction. Tell us, what's the issue with liquefaction? Um, the issue with liquefaction is quite major in Christchurch because it looks like about 25% of the insurance claims will ha involve some element of land um, reclamation. So what's happened is with the pressure of the earthquake shaking up things, the soil underneath a lot of the buildings is reduced to this sort of muddy sand. If you'll just hold that for a second. <laughs> so it looks like mud when it comes out of the ground, but then it dries up, looks like sand. So obviously you won't want your house sitting on a bed of sand at night. Um, so they've got to go in there and fix the ground underneath a lot of these houses and buildings before they can do anything else. So um, yeah, they've got to address that issue first. They don't know to what extent a lot of areas have been uh, affected by liquefaction, but it's extensive. You can see from the map behind us, this is pre-earthquake map that came from Environment Canterbury, but they highlighted the areas for potential liquefaction. Red is the um, areas that are uh, most at risk, yellow moderate risk, and uh, the paler yellow is lower risk, but you can see from the extent of the colour coding that it's it's a major mm -hmm. issue for the city. So which parts of Christchurch are most affected by this? Um, so the areas or neighbourhoods that have been identified to me are Avondale, Aranui, Bexley, Burwood, Shirley, Dallington, Richmond, Avonside, Winui and Phillipstown and those are the ones most severely so that's not all inclusive. There's probably some other areas that may just be a bit minor. So how do you fix this problem of, of liquefaction or unstable ground under these houses? So once they identify it, they've got to go in there and assess whether it can be fixed or not, because I understand in some cases it may not be, in other cases it is. So they're, um, they've got a poten a few, three potential fixes. A lot of them revolve around um, increasing the density of the soil. They have sp uh, particular techniques where they can do that. Um, so yeah, they go in there with special tools to do that or you know bulk up the soil underneath. And, and I've seen pictures too of um, huge concrete pylons that they can throw into the ground. That's right. I think if they dig down further enough and get into the non-liquefied soil areas, they'll be able to stabilize the, the, the structures sufficiently enough to rebuild on them. And the remediation issue, trying to fix the liquefaction, is a key roadblock in moving ahead with a lot of rebuilding of, of, of a lot of houses, it seems. That's right. It's pointless for the insurers to go ahead and start uh, demolishing the buildings and rebuilding them if the ground underneath them is still moving. So they've got to identify those areas and they've got to go in and fix them and then they can look at rebuilding. But the problem is they've got to move in a coordinated approach. You can't just go do this willy-nilly and piecemeal. You're looking at entire neighbourhoods that have been affected by liquefaction. So there's one part of Christchurch which has already been through this process and come up with this coordinated approach. Could you yeah. tell us a bit more about yeah, that? Yeah, it's not part of Christchurch. Actually, it's the Waimakere District Council. Okay. Um, so September 4th, they had a major earthquake. Obviously, they were one of the worst hit areas. Um, so. Uh, I guess a couple months after um, September 4th, um, they realized the magnitude of the problem that was going to require a very coordinated approach to get people in in a timely fashion. So the council um, collaborated and consulted with uh, numerous parties, actually there's 15 parties that are partaking in this process, to come up with a strategy to address the um, most urgent uh, needs first and then kind of go forward from there. So for example, going and getting the land fixed, reclaiming it, putting in the infrastructure, then establishing time frames and targets for rebuilding. So the whole idea of it was to give some people there some peace of mind so they can know, they can look at a map and see these clustered area and zones and know that, okay, yeah, in a year, that's what's happening. Then in a year from now, okay, I'll be getting closer to moving back into my house. So, um, you know, it gives them peace of mind, but also that um, having this coordinated approach, working with the parties together, might hope that they'll um, be able to recover a lot more efficiently than they would otherwise. Because who, who are the actual people in, that need to be involved to get this thing working? It sounds like a large number of different people. Yeah, I mentioned with, with, with this plan, they've come up with, there's 15 identified parties. Um, a lot of them are the insurers, obviously. There's the builders, there's EQC. There's the council, there's the power companies. So it, it's a, it's a multi-factorial kind of issue. Yeah. And can this approach be adopted by parts of Christchurch that were affected by the February the 22nd earthquake? Right, well, I think there's suggestions that it might be. I mean, obviously the magnitude and scope of the problem in Christchurch is, is huge, so it's, it's different. 
Well, but um, there's probably elements of this plan that they could look at uh, adopting, at least having this coordinated approach. And I think the idea is that maybe it might give residents a bit of certainty in these really uncertain times. Great. Amanda Morell there reporting on the issue of liquefaction, land remediation, and how it's going to affect people's plans for insurance and rebuilding Christchurch. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.